What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be telling you about the new Apple iWatch released, and I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know. The cat's out of the bag, and Apple has made its new wearable device official, which is being as... Apple Watch. I have all the details and everything you need to know for you right now. So let's go with features and specs. We'll start with design. The Apple iWatch features a slick and rather traditional design and since it's first ever smartwatch coming out of the cupertino, I'm dead sure that critics will go at it their axes and spears. Cupertino's new smartwatch comes with a square face sorry Moto 360 fans, and features a beautiful sapphire display at the front. Moving to the side of the device, we're treated with what Apple is dubbing as the digital crown, which is the go-to button for many tasks such as zooming in, scrolling, going back a menu, etc. The Apple Watch has been designed in such a way that it fits for pretty much any occasion, which is obviously a good thing in our books. And yes, in case you're wondering, the Apple iWatch is indeed waterproof and is ready to take a few splashes here and there in your everyday routine. The Apple Watch will be available with six different types of straps, so you can put your mind at ease that Cupertino smartwatch will get a tingy of boringness over time. Moving on to sensors, just like how the reports and rumours pointed out, the Apple Watch is insanely packed with sensors. In short, it's the only health and fitness or fashion device you'll ever need when you're out and about. So yes, it's safe to say that you can throw that trusty old fuel band into the bin once you get your hands on this bad boy. The new device features sensors on the back of the device which are used to grab data from the user's body. Moving on to the display, the Apple Watch has rather small touchscreen display, therefore it does not support multi-touch gestures and such. But, to overcome this issue, this is where the digital crown comes in, as I mentioned before. The display of the device wakes up automatically as soon as it senses movement, which is a big plus considering it doesn't involve the rig manual of pressing buttons and such. Moving on to charging, the Apple Watch uses MagSafe to charge up the connector for which goes on the back of the smartwatch. So yes, there's no wireless charging which users were hoping for. Next, under the software, the Apple Watch runs custom designed software, which has been tailored made for a device of this nature, and instead of relying on taps and buttons or presses, most of the notifications can be interacted with your voice. And since voice plays a huge role on the Apple Watch, therefore Siri has been thrown into the mix and is ready to take up queries on a moment's notice. Just like any other smartwatch, the Apple Watch will push all notifications from your iPhone to your wrist and unlike a Pebble watch the notifications are actionable and you can send up replies without having to touch your smartphone. Pretty slick if you ask me. There are a bunch of watch faces thrown into the mix ensuring that your wrist worn gadget doesn't get boring as it sees daily used. Apart from voice interaction, users have the option to doodle on their display to interact with notifications but considering the display what more could we ask for? And since the Apple Watch is also a fitness band, therefore dedicated workout app is also thrown into the mix. Want to track in your running, cycling or just walking? It's all under the hood. Next we go into the watch kit. Using watch kit, developers can extend functionality of their apps to their Apple Watch. So yes, in the near future you'll be able to create notes on Evernote, send replies to your WhatsApp, contacts etc. Moving on to sizes, the Apple Watch will be available in two different sizes. So yes, if you have a smaller wrist then you don't need to panic. The different models. The Apple Watch won't be a loan device and will come in three different models. Apple Watch, Apple Watch Edition features an 18 carat gold casing and Apple Watch Sport. All of the above models are available in two sizes. Compatibility, 
the Apple Watch will be compatible with the following devices iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 5S, iPhone 5C and the iPhone 5. Price and release date. The Apple Watch will start at £219 or $349 which is I'm presuming for the entry level mode and prices will go up if you're looking for something a little more fashionable. As far as availability is concerned, the Apple Watch will hit shelves in early 2015, so we're looking around January or February. And yeah, that is all the news for the Apple Watch, not the iWatch, it is in fact the Apple Watch. Now I made videos covering the iPhone 6, I made another video covering the iPhone 6 Plus. Links to them will be in the description. And yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page as I post gaming news and technology news daily. Also be sure to check out my gaming channel where I post daily as well. And finally be sure to add me on Snapchat where I just show you what I do throughout my day. So yeah, it's been Casual Savage here. I hope you've liked this video. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.